Hey, I'm Eric with DudeTuber. Today my Oktoberfest is finally done fermenting, so I'm going to be transferring it from the glass carboy into the keg. Do you want to know how to do this? Go grab a beer, come back, and I'll teach you how to do it. Okay, now that I have my beer, let me walk you through some things you're going to need. I have my keg with the star sand. Right now, the star sand's inside the keg with about five gallons of water. I have a bucket filled with sanitizer, and I have an auto siphon and my tubing. But we're missing a piece. Follow me. We're going to go to the fermentation chamber, and we're going to get out the Oktoberfest. All right, this is my fermentation chamber. It's temperature controlled. This is where the magic happens. This Oktoberfest has been in here for almost 45 days lagering at about 34 degrees. There she is. So now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on the table and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So I have the Oktoberfest. I brewed this around the 1st of January. It was uh, 1.050 in the gravity. Now it's at 1.010, which equals about 5.25% alcohol. So we have the glass carboy with the beer in it, and we have our keg, which has the star sand solution in it. So what I do, give this a good shake, and I dump the sanitizer into a bucket to reuse. And then we have our auto siphon and our hose. So I stick all this in the bucket, sanitizer, give it a few pumps you can buy one of these at any homebrew store all right now that that's sanitized what we're going to do is we're going to take our keg put it below the carboy pop the top to the carboy put our auto siphon in Take our hose into the keg. And now this is the magical part of the auto siphon. Give it a few pumps. And now we wait for the beer to get transferred. back and as you can see it it takes about a good 20 20 you know 20 25 minutes for a carboy to transfer all the way into a keg it's about five gallons so i would definitely recommend a clip that you can find at your local homebrew supply store and that will hold the siphon onto the carboy that way you're not sitting there having to hold it for the whole 20 25 minutes however long it takes but as you can see the clip will hold it right above the uh, the true line there so it's almost done uh, this keg's almost filled up all the way, actually. So this was a good five gallons of an Oktoberfest. In just a few minutes, uh, I'm going to show you how to put the lid on. And as you, there you go, starting to bubble now. And I don't want any more because I don't. I want to keep the yeast cake. I want to keep that out of the the keg. So we consider that done. And now what I'm going to do take my bucket with the sanitizer in it reel out the the tubing throw that down in there 
and we'll wash all this later. That's the fun part, cleaning up. So, now I'm going to sanitize the lid. Put the lid on. Now follow me up to the man cave. I'll show you how to hook it up. This is a uh, peanut butter stout that I had in my refrigerator on the CO2 for about two weeks. And this is the Oktoberfest that we just kegged. Follow me on up to the man cave and we'll get them hooked up and I'll show you how to purge them with the CO2. <laughs> So this is my bar. Let's open up the kegerator. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to come in here a little bit closer to see this. I'm going to hook the CO2 up and it's going to go on the end post of the keg. Now what we're going to do, we're going to turn the CO2 on, and it's set for about 12 PSI. Now what we're going to do is we're going to purge the keg of any O2 left over inside the keg. So that's about six times. So that's what you want to do when you first hook the keg up to the CO2. If you've enjoyed this episode of Doozy Brew, don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Come back and see us next time for our future episodes. Cheers.